my name is Linda Valentine and I'm an illustrator. And in this video I wanted to share with you guys my humble art studio. So this is my setup right now. It's really simple, it's really bare bones since I have recently been through a massive decluttering in my life. So I have only kept all the stuff that's actually relevant to my everyday practice. I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like right now, kind of let you in onto my life a little bit and show you guys what my everyday at work looks like and yeah mostly I just want to share my life with you guys a little bit more because all of you are really fantastic so just a quick note I've been recently feeling like really inspired by like other really nice looking art studios on like Pinterest and the IKEA website because and why wouldn't I? I do really, really want to improve my studio and make it more personalized, which essentially is shorthand for I want to make my studio more pastel. Um, however, <laughs> I am not like a home improvements kind of person. I don't think I've ever done anything like more involved than like unpacking IKEA flat pack furniture. So if I ever actually get around to like updating my studio, then I'm going to be like making little videos about it and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's definitely an if right now, and not a when, because uh, it takes money and effort, both of which I don't have. Please don't be like too critical. This studio at the moment is literally just super duper functional and it suits my semi-nomadic lifestyle, which for those of you that don't know, I have moved every single year for the past five years. So it needs to be easy to move. Therefore, it's so small. So. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so the main feature of my studio is obviously this massive ass art desk. I spend pretty much the majority of my entire life just sitting here and doodling away. We got this bad boy from a friend of ours, uh, second hand, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, it is one of those desks that can like extend and become an easel, however I have yet to use that function because all of my work is digital. Still, I really, really, really appreciate how massive it is and how much workspace I have thanks to it. So this is the star of the show. This is my iPad in this gorgeous iPad case. Like, oh, I love it so much. And yeah, this is a iPad Pro and I use it for pretty much all of my work. I work on Procreate with this here Apple Pencil. And if I ever need to work on things that are a little bit bigger, I can always just plug this into my MacBook and use AstroPad to use it as a graphics tablet using Photoshop. And this is my before mentioned uh, MacBook Pro, which I really, really want to get myself a proper iMac, but at the moment this is all I've got and honestly, it serves my purposes right now. Um, so yeah, that's my bad boy. Next, two things that I use pretty much every single day. It's my Moleskin sketchbook and my planner. So at the moment, I've got myself the watercolor album. Let me just show you guys a little bit of what's inside. So I've been doing so many of these color swatches. Um, just playing around with my new Arteza gouache and watercolors and I've been really loving these. I also got some new Holbeins as well, so. Oh, and I've been doing some classes on Skillshare, uh, <laughs> some more watercolors. Uh, but yeah, this is my sketchbook and he's very special to us. And this is my weekly planner. Um, so this is made by Friend Nerd, who if you don't know her, go check her out. She's on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere. I absolutely, absolutely love her art and she's made this awesome planner that's so cute. Oh my God. Ah, oh, I love it so much. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys sort of what my week this week looks like because it's a little bit hectic, but yeah, this is the planner and it's really cute. Oh, look at that, but yeah, so. And the last thing I use pretty much every single day is my pencil case. So this is by Muji and I got this in Berlin when I was on my honeymoon. At some point, I'm gonna show you guys like what's in my pencil case. Honestly, it's not that much. And here is a little bit of an extension to my lovely, lovely everyday sort of work tools. And I've got these up pretty much all the time just cause I use them so much. So we've got post-it notes. We've got some of these highlighters, some washi tape and this cute little pen, which I wanna show you guys. This is by Happy Color and it's a little pig. 
And also he's completely erasable, which I think is so cute and so useful whenever I make like mistakes during notes taking and stuff. It just, it allows me to enjoy my notebooks a lot more, especially since my spelling is awful. <laughs> this collection has grown a little bit over the years, but this is pretty much all of the brushes I've owned since I was 14 years old. So as you can see, I'm not that dedicated to painting. The last thing that I've got in like my general vicinity that's easily grabbable is this Arteza watercolor paper, which they have recently sent me. Thank you so much, Arteza, you're awesome. Um, but yeah, this stuff is absolutely great and I've been trying it out a lot and doing like little swatches and teeny tiny paintings on it recently. And I have a little series of paintings planned for you guys on this paper so I can give you a bit of a better review. But yeah, at the moment I'm just trying it out and having a good time. Of course, I live on coffee, therefore this is permanently here. Also, I've got two incense burners. Now, this one isn't on very often, but I really like the way like the smoke looks, so I wanted to put it on for this video. But since my hamster lives in this room, she's in a different room right now, um, I don't really want her to be breathing in unnecessary smoke, so... Yeah, this isn't on very often, but I just, I really like the way it looks. I think it's super aesthetic and it's cute, so it's mine. <laughs> and then this is the incense burner that I use on like daily basis. This one is by Yankee Candle, I believe. And I've got some incense oil inside and then you put a little candle in here and it just makes really nice smells happen and it looks really cute and it's pink and that's all I really need from life so yeah. So next to the desk I've got this little tower, uh, this is from Ikea and I believe the little shelvy sortery thing, I don't know what you call them, uh, a file sorter I think they're called? Yeah I got that off Amazon. <laughs> And they're both just like white wire ones. So let me show you guys what's in them. So I pretty much have kitchen roll on hand uh, pretty much all the time because whenever I want to paint, uh, I need it for like cleaning up my brushes and stuff. Now, these are some alcohol inks that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Um, uh, I don't use them that often, but I like to have them handy just in case. So I've got these lovely Dara Rowley ones. Sorry, they're acrylic inks. And this is indigo and black. Um, this was a recommendation from like this really, really old friend nerd video. And I've had it ever since and have yet to use it. But I really like the way the bottle looks. So I just have it out. So on the next shelf down, I've got my to-do list from Paper Chase. Uh, it's pink and it's cute and that's all that matters. I do use this very often. And then I also have this little uh, MD paper sketchbook. This is by... Uh, Midori! There we go! <laughs> My brain just had a little brain fart then. It's currently in its packaging because I have yet to open it. Uh, I will eventually, however, so I've just got that there right now. And the last shelf is empty, uh, but I have it just in case I've got any like files or anything that needs filing. Um, spoiler alert, I have a lot, but they're all in my email right now. It's still awaiting to be printed. So this is probably the most exciting shelf that I've got. This is all of my art materials, such as blue tech, which you can make incredible art with. I'm just kidding, blue tech, what are you doing here? I've got more post-it notes, I've got a tape measure, why I need a tape measure, I don't know, but uh, it can be useful. And I've got this stuff, this is the Dallar and Rowley Pure Fix Colorless Fixative. This stuff is essential if you're working colored pencils, which have a habit of smudging and are not very fun but this stuff is absolutely awesome. It doesn't leave a yellow cast on your paper uh, and I love it. So let's go from the left. Uh, this is my favorite thing in this entire drawer. Uh, not only is it pink, as you can see, I have a little bit of a thing for pink. This is my cool watercolor set. So these are all Holbein and I've got this adorable pink color, a cadmium yellow, a lemon yellow and a blue and then these two are like super, super dark reds that I use for line art. And yeah, these watercolors are fantastic. So in this pan, I just have my core colors that I use pretty much most often. And I'm thinking of adding some colors down here, but I don't know what colors I want to use yet. So I'm trying to get a little bit better at watercolor before getting some more pans. So I organize all of my paints and art supplies into these see-through little foldery things, pencil casey things. So I've got my watercolor in this one. And um, this one is acrylic gouache. This one is, I believe, normal acrylic paint. Yep. 
And then here I've got a couple of drawing materials and this is my washi tapes and my book binding. The next drawdown I have my lovely prints from wonderful, wonderful artists that I love and support. Um, like this lovely catnip one, which is so cute. And I still kept this sticker on it. I keep it all here next to my desk to inspire me and awesome. So these are cards, <laughs> which are here. Um, I don't, I don't really know why, but yeah, my hobby craft is here. My boots card is here. I think this is the Swedish, uh, Metro card. Yeah. I think I got this in Stockholm. So yeah, those are here because I don't have another place for them. And this is my hard drive. And I also have a bunch of, uh, where did they go? Yeah. And I also have a bunch of these little stick pens that I acquired at university. Why I have so many of these, I don't know, but I have a fair amount. So yeah, this is kind of like art and electronics draw. And the last drawer is probably the least exciting one. This is just a lot of paper, like a lot of paper. Uh, most of it is drawing paper, but like these two top ones are printing paper uh, that I use really, really, really often for my prints. Um, yeah, these are like little samples of watercolor paper that I got from Jackson's Art. Uh, I will eventually get around to using all of this, but not yet because I've got the Arteza stuff that is honestly so good. If you guys want me to do like an in-depth video about all my art materials and papers and stuff like that, I would absolutely love to do that. So let me know in the comments. So underneath this tower, the last thing that I got are my Arteza markers. This is what they look like. I've done an in-depth review of them on my Instagram. They're really, really awesome. Uh, I have been using them quite a lot and honestly getting them from underneath here seems to be working for me so they just fit really nicely under there and it's a it's a quite a large space that I needed to occupy with something so the box honestly fits pretty nicely and another thing that I actually learned that I really really love about this case is that it's so easy to clean like this floor uh it's beautiful but it does get a little bit dusty sometimes so I've already had to clean this case twice and it is so easy to clean so I actually really love this case. Ta-da! So yeah, welcome to the underneath of my desk. Yes, I do pretty much live here uh, for the most part. All of the stuff that I use the most or have to be like using frequently for reviews and stuff like that ends up here. Um, so yeah, let's go from the right this time. This is the big box of pencils. I have quite a collection. I'm obsessed with these. I've done an in-depth review on my Instagram about these. These are the Arteza coloured pencils, um, which are incredible. They're absolutely amazing. And I've got a set of 120 of them. So there's a lot. And honestly, I really like this case as well. It's been really handy. Um, so yeah, these are genuinely my favorite colored pencils that I like, which is awesome because uh, I did the math on them and they are about 30p per pencil. I think it's like something like 39p per pencil or something. I have a bunch of stuff by Arteza just because they send me stuff to uh, review and whatnot. And this is one of the most recent things that they've sent me. This is a set of watercolors. Oh, look at that. They're so pretty. I have yet to actually use this uh, brush because I've just been using my own with them, but I will eventually. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, I've been using them quite a lot recently. Um, and yeah, they're, they're fantastic. I really like them. So, And the last thing that I probably have from Arteza are these gouache colours, which if you have been paying any attention to Instagram, have been blowing up on Instagram recently. Yeah, I will be doing an in-depth review of these as well as the watercolors eventually once i get around to it uh it's it's on my priority list right now but yeah the last thing that i got here is this huge huge box and let me show you guys what's inside Ta-da! So here I've got my Winsor & Newton Pro Markers and um, I've got both Pro Markers and Brush Markers in a randomized order here. I absolutely love these. 
and I've also got my Copics. So, yeah. I've got about a row of each. Oh, I forgot I had these as well. So, these are the Ecoline brush pens, and these are watercolour pens. And I haven't used them in a really long time, and I forgot they were here. But yeah. Also banished into this corner, I've got my university folder. So this is where my portfolio lived before I got rid of it. This is my extremely exciting folder of documents and taxes and stuff. And this has everything from like project briefs to uh, banking information to my birth certificate in there. So I'm not going to be showing you guys what's inside, but I will show you guys the outside because it's pink. And this is what I call my box of crap. Uh, it's not actually filled with crap, it's actually filled with some quite useful things. So I've got my laptop stand here, I've got my keyboard, my mouse is somewhere in there as well, and I've got a couple of more watercolour sets. So my desk chair is from Ikea, and I've got these headphones on them, which I have recently got off of Amazon. Um, I thought they were cute, and I need them for Dungeons & Dragons since we play over Discord. So yeah, I haven't used them yet, but... Hopefully they'll be good. Uh, and the last thing, and possibly the most exciting thing, in my studio is this bad boy. He is super special. This is my print printer. It prints my prints, um, and it does printing, and it's very printy at printing, and I love him. Um, this is the Epson Shore Color P6000, or 600? I think it's 6,000. He's super duper special. He lives on the floor because the floor is the place where all of the special people live. So yeah, we keep him there. And next to the printer, we have my really old bass speaker. Um, so you guys might have seen this peeking out. Um, honestly, it's less exciting than it looks. Uh, it's just a backdrop. And I don't have anywhere else to store it, so I just store it behind the printer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please smash the like button and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram where I post my illustration work and I shall see you in another video. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Bye!